Hi guys, I'm Patrick from 3dvandahouse.com and today I just want to show you how to create a nice bracelet using Blender like the one you have on the screen right now and you will see it uh, takes just one minute and uh, just a few modifiers to get this nice result so I will not go into may too many details uh, just to show you that uh, you just have to, to, to know one or two tools, a few modifiers only, and uh, you can do many, many interesting things using Blender, and then you can 3D print it and have lots of fun with your, with your parents or with your kids or with your friends or alone if you are alone in front of your screen. But uh, it's quite nice and it's really easy to have a, a nice gift uh, to offer. Uh, anytime you want to offer something to your, I don't know, to your, to your wife, to your daughter, to your, to your mom, to your girlfriend, it's up to you. So I start. I start with the startup file. Of course, I get rid of the cube. I had a torus. As you can see, it's a nice shape already. If you want to do a bracelet but we will change it here we go up to 60 I change a major radius to 25 and the minor radius I will decrease it a little bit so what I'm doing right now it's really simple I'm just changing the shape of the bracelet but you can do the shape you want you just have you here you have the dimension of the bracelet following the z z axis the y axis and the x axis the red one here so you just have to enter here the value you want and uh, once you you have the the shape you you like here to add some details like the previous bracelet I show you at the beginning of the of the video today, you just have to go here, add modifier, and I will show you with the decimate modifier, the wireframe modifier, and the subdivision surface modifier, how simple it's to 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 get the, the result uh, you I, I showed you before. So we start with the decimate one. We use the unsubdivide option and the iteration we go from 0 to 1 as you can see the shape it's already nicer than before we apply it we will use a wireframe modifier uh, as you can see the thickness it's uh, it's not enough so if you 3d print it it will be uh, too fragile and uh, so we increase the thickness a little bit at least uh, yeah, like that would be okay. So I apply it. I add the last modifier for today, which is a subdivision surface, and I increase it from one to three. And that's it. You have the result. Maybe maybe we can increase the size following the z-axis to to have a wider bracelet. We can go up to two. I think should be nice. I even two. 3 should be okay yeah nice one look at that and if you want to see what kind of result you could get if you 3d print it for example if you use a white plastic as you can see the result is already really nice it's a nice gift for yourself or for any people you would like to, to offer and uh, you can see if you go up to printed it in silver, in gold, or in funny plastic, a green one like that, for example, it's really, really nice. So as you, as you can see, it took me only maybe one or two minutes and I talk too much, <laughs> like uh, many times, and, uh, but it's really easy with Blender. So I just tell you again, for the modifiers, it's really simple, you use a decimate, the wireframe and the subdivision surface one and uh, you you can get this kind of results it's really really fast and really really fun to do so i hope you enjoyed it 
have fun with Blender, create many bracelets, print them, and uh, offer them to all the people you love. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.